an insurance company sells an auto insurance policy that covers losses subject to a deductible of 100. Losses follow exponential distribution with mean 300. Calculate the 95th percentile of losses that exceed the deductible. So once again, the so CDF will be useful. And we know that the CDF for exponential with mean k is one minus e negative x over k. Here the mean is 300, so it'd be one minus e negative x by 300. So we need to find the 95th percentile of losses exceeding deductible. So yeah, calculate the 95th percentile of losses exceeding deductible. So if we were to only calculate the 95th percentile of losses without the mention of this exceeding deductible, then if P is that 95th percentile, then it would be simply uh, the equation probability X is less than P equals 0.95. But we want to find the 95th percentile of losses exceeding deductible, so it would be probability of x less than p. Given x is greater than 100, we want that to be equal to 0.95 because the deductible is 100. And uh, this one, we use the basic given formula, a given b equals a and b, so x less than p and x bigger than 100 divided by probability b which is x bigger than 100. And uh, when you combine these two, x less than p and x bigger than 100, that combines into x bigger than 100 and less than p. And we know that for something like this, uh, we can write uh, in terms of CDF as p, f of p minus f of 100. And x bigger than 100 is 1 minus x less than 100. So that's 1 minus f of 100. And now we just uh, substitute the appropriate values in f of x. f of x is 1 minus e minus x by 300. So f of p is 1 minus e minus p by 300. This would be 1 minus e minus 100 by 300. And uh, here this one simplifies. Once you distribute this negative, the ones cancel out. And so you have e to the negative 1 by 3. This one minus e to the negative p by 300. And in the denominator, the ones cancel out and you just get e to the negative one by three. And then you take the e negative one by three to the other side. And then you, you have like terms here, e negative one by three and 0.95 e to the negative one by three. So when you bring this one to the left and subtract, so one minus 0.95 is 0.05. And you take the e negative p by 300 to the right. And uh, all this is 0 0.0538. And then you take ln both sides. So ln of 0 0.0538 is negative p by 300. And then this gives you p equals 999. When you look at the answer choices, they are rounded to the nearest 100. So 999 rounds to 1,000. And the answer is E.